previously on The Bill. Oh, my. Come on. What, you want to sleep with my wife? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mate. What's up? He wants to have sex with you. You what? He wants to sleep with you. All right, Gov. No, nothing. Not a dicky bird. Look, I know it's boring, Mickey, but it's important boring. <laughs> Breakfast. All right, I'll blow it out the window. What's up, sir? Close the door, Jack. Ron Gregory. Cindy. Look, can I call you back later? What's such? No, it's yours. Yeah, thanks. Very nice. Come on, Neil, I know you're in there. Morning, Constable. Didn't take you long. Manny made husband is jealous. That's me. Yeah, well, at least you're out of our calendar now. Indeed, I am. So, what the hell are you doing? Here? To make sure that you don't go around telling lies about her saying that she's been hitting our Ryan. Oh, you reckon? Now I'm off the scene, all the bruises will magically disappear. Our Karen would not hurt a kid. That's it, Karen. It runs in your family. My sister is not a child abuser, and I don't want you saying any different. 140 from 149. Go ahead, Nick. Hi. Good kid, Gary. He needs someone to look out for him. It was him. Definitely. Well, thumping your nephew? Yep. What are you going to do about it? No. No, I can't want the asshole anyway. He's out of the picture now, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure I'd be so calm about it. We've hit every known receiver in the area and we've hit them hard. And now the junkies have no one to buy what they've shoplifted and burgled. Which means they need cash. And lo and behold, muggings have gone up by approximately 150% in one week. Gina, it's hardly a success story, sir. Well, I suppose the silver lining is that we smashed Gregory's lucrative sideline in fencing stolen property. That's all it is, though. A sideline? Yeah, my team reckon they're up to all sorts. That's drugs, so-called security, intimidation, behind the front of this nice, respectable property business. But well, we can't prove anything. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it, when they've got Phil Hunter there telling them what's happening next? It's a dangerous game, Jack, I know it is. But you go in heavy now, arrest Gregory, we'll blow the whole thing. The goal here is a conviction. I won't be satisfied with anything else. Lucy Stack, son of. I'll tell you what the problem is, sir. Oh, the thin blue line, eh? Oh, now the phone can stop. I don't think you wanted to do that, sir. Why out here? I don't want a super knowing that we're keeping an eye on Gregory. So, what's the big deal? Well, I'm not 100% convinced with the super's take on this one. So, I'm gathering my own intelligence. 
Well, without the super say so, it's not an awful operation, isn't it? Well, you've got a problem with that. <laughs> you know me, Gov. So everything you get, I want it bringing straight back to me. Okay. So what have you got then? Not much. I see some bird leave his house in the morning. She must have stayed there or something. And what we know? I don't think so, but there was definitely something familiar about her. I couldn't place it, though. I'm racking my brains all night. You don't rack them too hard, you might hurt yourself. <laughs> Let me have a gander of the photos when you get them printed off. All right, yeah. Oh, and spend as much time as you can with Gregory, but be discreet. Like old times, eh, Gun? So what was the problem? You really do want to trip out the nick, don't you? What's this all about, David? David what? I, I don't know. It's Ackroyd. David Ackroyd. You're gonna get a move on and caution me? That's what you want? Yeah. David Ackroyd, I'm gonna rescue you for a fraud. What happened? I was in the office, I heard a noise, come out to investigate. There he was, smashing things. You run a needle exchange here, yeah? That's right. Must be an occupational hazard. Junkies going off their heads. Less than you think. And certainly not David. He's been clean for two years. Well, anyone could fall off the wagon. Didn't you have a proper look at him? Sorry? David hadn't taken anything. He's more together than I've ever seen him. I'll never get used to gobbing women. That means I'm really out of mouth on it. Apart from the course where I come from, mate. Oh, how's Ryan? He'll be fine now. Neil Roper's out of the way. So he and Karen definitely called it quits. Yeah, Gary had a little word with him just to make sure. You didn't? No, I didn't. Listen, we better shoot game or I'll be having a hissy fit. What? Oi. Hissy fit? Get you, missus. Heard it on Graham Norton. Yeah, well, Gilmore wants us to do a tour of the local cash machines to keep an eye out for these muggers. Right, well, I've got to call at our Karen's first. <laughs> She's been through a lot, Nick. Well, let's be bloody quick. Okay, I'll get somebody to come and deal with you. If you just take a seat. Terrible, these cash machine robberies happening everywhere. Chief Superintendent Jane Fitzwilliam. I'm here to see Superintendent O'Caro. Okay, Mum, I'll let him know you're here. Why don't you take a seat, Mum? No, thank you. I'll make a point of asking the superintendent how he intends to deal with your cash machine robberies. Pass on your concerns. You're not in, gal. Come on. kid needs to go to hospital. Look what you've done to my son and dog! You all right, mate? Uh, leave her alone. You're not taking my kid. He's going to the hospital whether you like it or not. Ugh. Don't know that much about him, really. I make it my business not to pry. But I get the impression David used to hold down a respectable, well-paid job. I know he was married with children, but that he doesn't see them anymore. But he is clean. A real success story until today. You got any idea what might have kicked it off? Life's tough for someone like David. He's lost everything. Ended up living on the margins, as they say. You needn't bother waiting. We're going nowhere. So you still got no idea what happened? I was out of it. I took some tablets. I haven't been sleeping very well. What of all the stress I'm under? My own brother grassing me up to social. Yeah, well, it looks like I did the right thing, doesn't it? <sighs> and you were fast asleep, right? Ryan must have just got up to get a drink or something. He must have just slipped and fallen down the stairs. Unless. What? Well, me and Neil had this terrible row. He wouldn't give me the keys back. Oh, but Neil's an angel, according to you, isn't he, eh? Wouldn't lay a finger on our Ryan. Yeah, well, maybe I didn't tell you the whole truth. Karen. Well, you wind me up. Looking down your nose at me all the time.
time. Just because you're a stupid copper. Did Neil hit Ryan? Tell me. Is Ryan OK? It's bruised. He's taking a serious knock on the arm, which was already broken. It needs to be reset and recast. I want to see Ryan on my own. Follow me. She doesn't want you to see Ryan so she can get her story straight. Tell him what to say. I beg your pardon? Look, I know she's your sister, mate, but she's lying. Street crime, and in particular street robbery, are out of control. Because you told us to crack down on burglary. Uh, Gina, please. With all due respect, Jane, I did point out that an increase in street robbery was a very real possibility as a result of cracking down on burglary in general, and receiving in particular. How else are the junkies going to get the cash they need? So the real story is that the sale and use of illegal drugs in Sun Hill is out of control. In Sun Hill, and every other London borough. I think the public would be extremely shocked to hear you talk like that. Like you've given in. Merely being honest with you, ma'am. I took two phone calls this morning. One from Tim Bowman, who's a prominent candidate in the forthcoming by-election. The other from Sam Fraser, an equally prominent tabloid journalist. Tim Bowman is a keen proponent of the rule of law. And Mr Fraser is researching an in-depth piece on drugs in Sun Hill. Oh, that's all we need, Mum. We do have a long-term strategy. Not good enough. As I said before, I want results and I want them now. Yeah, the priest refusing to press charges. Lucky for you. Who is this? That paedophile priest, Father Keegan. Me and Sarah arranged for one of his female victims to meet him. Um, Sarah is Danny's friend. She's a nun. Mm. Anyway, the victim's brother came too, only he was packing a knife, which he used. What to your risk assessment? Yeah, well, we got it wrong. Which is why you are lucky Father Keegan isn't pressing charges. Could have been a matter for internal investigation. Let's do without that right now. Why don't you rub it in a bit, eh, Sarge? We'll be there. What's up? Another cash machine robbery. Master one this time. The victim is a woman in her early 30s. She's in St. Hughes. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Do you want to come? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Danny, what is all this between you and this nun? Nothing to tell, just friends. What's that? What's up? I didn't say anything. Chill. Well, charming, yeah? <laughs> this is a knee-jerk, a quick fix. You arrest the dealer, supplies diminish, prices go up, street robbery and burglary follows. And we're back at square one. I can't believe you're all being so defeatist. We should be relishing the chance to make a real difference. We'll do whatever you instruct us to do, ma'am. But we'd be failing in our duty if we didn't point out that the approach that you're recommending has been tried and failed. Short of going to Afghanistan and destroying the poppies ourselves, we'll do nothing but hack away at the edges of this problem and most likely make things worse. I have another appointment. We can't cut off the supply. That's out of our hands. We arrest the dealers, more come to take their place. Arresting junkies won't cure what is, after all, a medical problem. So what do you suggest, Superintendent? Decriminalise hard drugs. Prescribe to addicts. Take away the criminal incentive. I trust you will never repeat that view. Certainly outside this room and never in public. Keep me informed. Mom. I need a fag. And no, I'm not going to be hanging out the window. Did you mean what you said? Yes, Jack. Every word. Look, if they're going to reset his arm, it'll take hours. We'll call in later. Even Gilmore can't object to that. We'll come back if it refs. This ain't down to our cunning, you know. She won't hurt her own kid. Yeah, you know best, gal. What are you two doing now? But Gary's nephew's had another fall. And have you reported it to social services? Not yet. We've got a show. So what happened this time? Ryan fell down the stairs. He fell? Are you sure? What does Karen say about it? She was asleep. So it was an accident? Probably. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Well, Karen reckons Neil could have let himself I in. I thought you said they split up. Well, they have, but he's still got keys. If you believe her, Karen. <laughs> you really are asking for a smack, aren't you, eh? Come on. Same in my as the others. 
Jumped after she drew out money from the cash machine. A bit more violent this time. Passerby said she put up a bit of a fight. Any ID? Nah, took the bag with everything in it. She looks familiar though. The victim's still unconscious. But can we take a look? Be my guest. Ring any bells? No. Where is she? Take your hand off my shoulder. I don't like people touching me unless I invite them to do so. Talking of touching, I had a night to remember with your good lady wife. Remarkable woman, Cindy. If you hurt her. What? What will you do to me? She left early this morning. I haven't seen her since. I don't know you're not lying. Because I got more than enough last night to make sure that you obey me for a very long time to come. I don't understand. I know you don't. All will be revealed in the fullness of time. I'll tell you what, why don't you get Cindy to explain? If you ever find her. Still can't believe he picked up a knife and stabbed him. Yeah, it could have been very nasty. You had a rough time about it? No, luckily Father Keegan didn't want any more grief. Ah, why doesn't that surprise me? Your compassion ran out then? Pedophiles who use the priesthood to rape young children come about bottom of my list. So you think the priest deserved to be stabbed? You never catch me saying it. Sister Sarah, I'm shocked. Son, here's the ID. Mickey Webb. No, he's not here. Yeah, I can take a message. Mm -hmm. Yep, I will. All right. So why are we here again? I believe that you're wrong about my sister. Answer your bloody phone, Mickey. Ugh, I don't know what she sees in him. What? He's a pig, he is. What on earth are you on about? Phil Hunter, I bet he leads that Cindy a dog's life. Phil Hunter knows this woman? Well, I should hope so. That's his wife. <laughs> Yeah. You're joking. When? Is she all right? I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go over there right now. Uh, thanks, Debbie. Phil Hunter's missus, is that who that is? Don't play dumb with me, Mickey. All right. You got me banged to rights, so I was just going to play a practical joke, that was all. She's in St Hughes. She's unconscious. She was mugged. So now's not the time for your stupid jokes. Cindy Hunter. To you too. Was it Gregory? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna find out who did this and I'm gonna rip their head off. I was probably just kids, junkies. I'm all right. They say I'll be fine. I gotta stay in because they hit me head. What did happen then? I was drawing out cash. No, not this morning. Last night. You never fail to disappoint, do you, Phil? What? You don't give a toss that I've been mugged. I do. Just got your boxes in a knot because I spent the night with another man. Save your skin. No, and I appreciate it, babes. I really do. But I need to know. What about the nights you haven't come home? I've been a naughty boy, right? But you've always known what I've been like. You got off on it. So you want to know the intimate details, do you? Yes. No, I mean, no. Ins and the outs. Don't do this. You're the one who needs to know. Look, this is killing me. Why? Because I love you, you daft bint. It was vile. Degrading. Disgusting. Perverted. 
humiliating. So sorry, babes. But I did not have sex with Ron Gregory. Neil hasn't left the house since last night. Satisfied? Give me the keys. What keys? The keys to Karen's house. Oh, Karen! Stop lying to me and hand them over. Karen. Just give me the keys and I promise that we'll leave you alone. I haven't got them, honestly. I threw them back at Karen. Come on, girl. Oi! I know you don't want to believe it's Karen. you got to think you're Ryan. Yeah, thanks for your help. We'll leave you in peace now. And get out of here. Let's go. As the custody sergeant explained, there is no way you can speak to the superintendent. Then I've got nothing to say. Okie dokie. What sort of photos? I want to need to see them. No, I don't ever want you to see me like that. What, and you didn't lay a finger on you? No. That I could have coped with. This was weird. Really, really weird. <sighs> now I get it. What? I went round there earlier. He said he'd got enough to keep me under the thumb. And whether I do what he says, or the photos turn up, who knows where. I couldn't stand that, Phil. Yeah, and I'll make sure it doesn't happen. How? Oh, you can't be wrong, Gregory's slave for the rest of your life. I'll find a way, all right? Well, can't you not, Mickey? I need a word. Yeah, well, this is not exactly a convenient time. Yeah, and I don't give a monkeys. Perhaps you could explain to me what your missus was doing at the home of a known criminal last night, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I suspected. You're up to your neck in Gregory's filth, aren't you? But I'm taking this straight to internal investigations. Phil doesn't have dealings with Ron Gregory, I do. Do me a favour, Will. He's my landlord. At the shop, you can check it out if you want to. Yeah, why'd you spend the night then, eh? Sorry, babes. No, you didn't. I've been trying to stop Gregory putting the rent up on the shop. I could go out of business. Oh, I don't believe this. He's always fancied me. Always made suggestions. You cheap slapper! Look who's bloody talking! I didn't mean to start married to here, so I'm... Shut it, Mickey. You are one kind of hypocrite. Oh, it's right for the blokes to go putting it about. Yeah, but I don't rub your nose in it, though, do I? I wasn't intending to get caught on camera, was I? I'm going to leave you two to it, all right? I'm going to deal with you later. Oh, I am scared. Mickey. You sure about that, Sergeant, huh? Well, it's not your fault, is it? Yeah, well, sorry anyway, OK? Look, Mickey, you can give me the photo, could you, and destroy the others. Just not good on the old image, if you know what I mean. Consider it done. Cheers, mate. <sighs> you, my darling, played an absolute blinder. <sighs> he was easy. We've still got Ron Gregory to deal with. No way. Me. I'm gonna sort it. I swear. CID. Yeah. Eva, I'll call for you. Manchester Social Services. Oh, cheers. Thanks for getting back to me. Is the governor well? Look, you've got to entertain a possibility at the very least. You're doing my head in now. Karen would not hurt her own kid. Karen and Ryan were alone in the house. Called it a Neil Roper. They were alone in the house and Ryan got hurt. And not for the first time. What do you want? Look, I just spoke to Manchester Social Services. They've got a file on Karen. Nothing was ever proved. But it seems that she was suspected of physically abusing Ryan. They tried to keep in touch with her, but she did a disappearing act with him. Well, I spoke to the social yesterday. They said there was no extra. Yeah, and that's because Karen was using her married name, Karen Hall. That's why Karen Best kept coming up blank until I did some digging, so... Well, I still can't believe it. Not till she tells me herself. Don't you think you should go after him? Hey? Go, go. 
Doctor, you're going to want to read this. All right, so what's so important? Hunter, he's as bent as they come. He's up to his eyes in it without Gregory. Hmm. I wondered how long it would take you to figure that one out. What, you knew? This information, you've kept it to yourself, haven't you? Do you really think you can stop Ron Gregory using those photos? I'm a copper. I'll think of something. Have I ever let you down before? Yeah. Not over the big things, though. Nah. Not over the big things. I'll come back and see you later. Is that any way to greet an old and trusted friend? What are you doing here? You covered. You are all the same, aren't you? Just questions, questions, questions. You know, I have come down here to express my outrage at what I am to send you this morning to assure her that I hope she gets well soon. You didn't have her beaten up. Philip, I can honestly say with my hand on my heart that I did not. I mean, what would be the point, eh? Well, I've got you precisely where I want you, haven't I? And you know, I've always been a great believer that psychology is so much more effective than brute force. Yeah, well, I want out. At least for the time being. It's getting too hot. Something happened, Philip? You haven't blown it, have you? No, of course not. What if someone saw Cindy coming out of your place and put two and two together? Well, quite frankly, Detective Sergeant, I couldn't give a toss. It's not my problem. Yeah, well, I've had enough. Oh, no, you haven't. Now, much as I've enjoyed our little chat, I really must be going. I wonder if you could give these to the uh, fragrant Cindy for me. With all my love. Well, how did I know that you and the super were onto Hunter, eh? Well, you weren't supposed to know, that's the whole point. So it's not my fault that his missus walks out of the house that I was watching, is it? So Hunter knows you've rumbled in? No. Well, you showed him the photos, didn't you? Yes, Gov, I showed him the photos. Then him and his missus cooked up some cock and bull story about her having an affair. Pretends to throw a moody one, all hurt pride, ask me to destroy the photographs, and him and his missus think that I've fallen through hook, line and sinker. Are you sure about that? Positive, Gov. I played a blinder, I swear it. Yeah, but that still doesn't alter the fact that Hunter could tell Gregory that we've been watching him. Well, it doesn't make Hunter look good in Gregory's eyes, does it? That's true. Anyway, Gov, what I don't get is, if you and the Super knew about Hunter and Gregory, why didn't you do anything about it? It was a Super's idea. It rings that Hunter's the only person that can take us straight to Gregory. Well, that's risky, isn't it? Yeah. I'm still not happy with it, huh? Gov, the Super's right. That Gregory's like Teflon. You need someone on the inside. Yeah, but now that Hunter's rattled, the whole thing could go pear-shaped. Well, not necessarily. Not if I tell him I've got sweet F.A. on Gregory. And if you tell him you're pulling me off the case. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that could work. Yeah, you suppose, but what? I've still got to tell the super that we've been watching Gregory, contrary to his orders, breaking the law. Let's hope he's in a good mood, eh? It was a brave thing to say. In private. Still got to follow the borough commander's orders. Oh, worse luck. Well, concentrate on the dealers, leave the junkies alone. Well, that won't make us very popular with that. I found a needle in my garden brigade. Tough. Oh, there's a prisoner who wants to talk to you. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, he won't talk to anyone else, and he's taken up a cell. Name? David Ackroyd. Put him in interview room three. I'll see him now. What do you mean they've gone? We didn't discharge him. She must have just walked out. We haven't even reset the child's arm. He needs medical attention. She did it. Her own kid. So what do you want to do, girl? Look, why not phone it and get someone else to deal with it? I need to do this myself. Great. I know the prisoner, PC7, so I'll call you if a formal interview is needed. Yes, sir. Stand up, David. Good news. Sarah Donahue's agreed to drop the criminal damage charges against you. I need your help. I heard something I shouldn't have heard. Where are you living? That's not important. I still feel bad. 
You did what you had to do. Nowadays, you'd get counseling, rehabilitation. Stop beating yourself up, Adam. I'm the one who got hooked on smack. You tried to get me off it. Tried and failed. I've been clean for two years. So why are you here? I told you. They're going to kill me if they get hold of me. Who is? I presume you know the name Ron Gregory? He's known to us. Well, I always thought he was dodgy, but last night I found out just how dodgy. He's planning to flood Sun Hill with cheap heroin. He's had people killed. So why the pantomime at the community center? Come on, Adam. I couldn't let them see me walk in here. Point taken. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> Offer you protection? I know you can't do that. Just lock me up until he's got the heroin on the street. What if I call him in? Tell him what you just told me. You won't do that. Not until you've got solid evidence. I know you remember. Yeah, you do. But you seem to have forgotten the criminal justice system. I can only hold you for a few hours. After that, you'd go on remand. Once you're in the prison system, Gregory, you find it easier, not harder to get hold of you. Not if they lock me up 24-7, just for a few weeks. It'll never happen. You're gonna get out of Sun Hill. Get out of London. But you gotta do it now. I'll get your taxi straight to the station. You don't go home, you don't pack. When you get to where you're going, you give me a call. And you're right. I have no immediate plans to bring Gregory in. After a few weeks, he'll believe you kept your mouth shut. You gonna let him flood the area with smack? I'm playing the long game, David. As usual. The superintendent, eh? That suits you. Could have been me. We'll never know. You see your kids? Not for a while. No. No, all their clothes are gone. The lame bitch. Well, she could have taken him anywhere. Right, do one four seven one. Yeah, DC Sharp, please. Even I need a favour. Drive him straight to Houston. No stopping off. Sarge, I did what you asked with the photos. Copy shredded, discs marked. Cheers. You and Cindy made up yet? Hardly. You will, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, I reckon so. It's hard to stay mad at her for long. Even if she slept with another bloke. You want to change the subject? Sorry. How far you got with these cash machine robberies? You winding me up? No, I'm interested. Very interested, now that it's personal. The taxi bird will trace the driver who picks him up and he's taken him to the coach station. We'll never get there in time. We might. I called the station. We've got to suspend all departures. Right, well, come on. I am coming. They're only going to give us another ten minutes and if we haven't found them by They're long gone, aren't they? Hey, don't give up hope. So, why me? Well, because, as you just pointed out to us, all the victims so far have been female. Well, at the cash machine, at least. And they're jumped by two IC1 males. The more the victims resist, the more violent the assault. Exactly why I don't fancy being a decoy. But me and Nikki are going to be feet away. Why doesn't that reassure me? Ladies and gentlemen, we apologise for the delay. Our services have now been resumed. A 1425 Northwest service to Glasgow is now boarding at gate 20. Stop! Open up! Give me a second. 
you, mate. Look who it is! Then. You're coming with me! Son of! Uh, Ryan needs to see a doctor. Yeah? Well, I got doctors in Scotland! You hurt him. You hurt your own son! Yeah? Well, maybe he deserves it! You vicious cow. <laughs> Colin, hit me! Come on, Ryan. Do as she says. Why don't you come with me, sweetheart? Yeah. Get up. Get up! You what for? What? You've got what you wanted. You've got my kid taken off me. We might be able to sort something out. You mean charge me? Get me sent down like you did our dad? No. Then let me go. And what about Ryan? It's better off without me. You know he is. Why? Did I hurt him? You have a kid and it never goes away. Nobody ever tells you that. 24 hours a day, depending on you. Making you, you feel like crap when you get things wrong. You get tired and you get angry. So why didn't you tell me, eh? I'm your family. You did the right thing, Gary. You walked away from all that violence. Make sure our rounds okay. Sorry about that, mate. Arm of yours to hurt him. Right. I'll tell you what, bastard. Let's get the doctor to have another look, shall we? Yeah. Jack, 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 I specifically said. Yeah, I know you did. Why can't you trust me? Well, to be frank, sir, it's your approach. It makes me nervous. I'm mean, turning a blind eye to Phil Hunter, talking about decriminalising Class A drugs, prescribing heroin. I thought you might enjoy the ride. Proper seat of your pants policing, real results, not form filling and ticking boxes. So what about this surveillance on Gregory? Well, I ought to bounce you all the way down the stairs straight to early retirement. But the truth is, I'd rather have you on board. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. Not kind. Self-interest. You're an able and experienced copper jack. Let's make a deal. If this goes pear-shaped, which it might, I take the rap. I ordered you to give Hunter enough rope. Well, that doesn't seem fair. A good leader takes responsibility, whatever happens, like you do in CID. Besides, I'd only be telling the truth. Deal? Deal. No more unofficial ops. Scouts on her. I've had a good tip-off from a very reliable source. It was a brutal and sustained beating. There's no clues to the man's identity yet, apart from these. This is the supers. I know. Well, look, I'm off back to the factory. I'll let him know. Gregory's planning to flood Sun Hill with dirt cheap heroin, put all the established dealers out of business. And jack up the prices, forcing the junkies to go on the rob. Do you reckon Hunter's involved? I can sniff we're getting closer. I reckon it's time for Mickey to become Phil's best friend. If Hunter's wife spent the night at Gregory's, the detective sergeant's far more involved in this than we imagined. Let's hope Mickey's close by when he gets careless. Well, it's worth a shot. I'll track Mickey down and give him the full SP. Oh, Jack, my thoughts on drugs. 
You don't agree, I presume? No, I don't. But we can work together. After Tom Chandler, you're a breath of fresh air. They probably nicked so much cash this morning, they're all stoned out their heads, probably. Yeah, you're probably right. I want to think of them touching my Cindy. Yeah, they meant that one, Gregory, eh? Sorry. Sorry, Sarge, I didn't mean, didn't mean to say that again. Hi, hi. What we got here, then? Oh, nice and easy, Nicky. Hey, Sarge, get up! I'm arresting you for attempted robbery! Come on. Come on. Was the suit pin striped? So. The victim's name was David Aykroyd. Someone you know, sir? He used to know. A long time ago. Was that all you found on him? No, no, there was a photograph in a frame. Of two children? How did you know that? I warned him not to go home to get anything. I couldn't shop at either. Oh, no. I hope my mum can cope. She'll get loads of help. Should come with me, really, shouldn't he? It's my fault he's on his own. There's no way you can take care of a little six-year-old. No. Now I'll see you really soon, right, mate? Hey? Take you to a United game or something? Come on here, Gara. Come in. Danny says that you knew this guy who was beaten to death. Yes. So you've been talking to MIT? Already called them. Right. Gina. Close the door. We'll be giving Commander Fitzwilliam her crackdown on drugs. Only we're going to do it my way. So? I don't want uniform or CID wasting time arresting and processing users. Well, what are we talking here? Cannabis? Speed? Class A. Smack, coke, crack, the lot. Are you sure about this? Never been surer. An addict's an addict. If we had a proper rehabilitation system in place, arrest and detention might be of some benefit. As it is, rounding up junkies for possession takes up valuable time and resources and stops us going after the real villains. The big boys. Precisely. Thanks to them, a good friend of mine is dead. So it's official policy. We turn a blind eye to personal use. Call it an offensive against the dealers, if you like, a targeted operation to cut off supply. We'll pick them off one by one until we get to Ron Gregory. Well, the rank and file won't be fooled. They'll know it's a change of policy, and if that gets out... It's a risk I'll have to take. Night after night, lying there, hearing me dad shouting. My mum would be crying, begging him to stop. Then it'd go quiet. That was the really scary bit. My dad never hit it in the face, though. Only smack to where the breezes wouldn't show. Gotta be able to hold your head up in the pub after all, aren't you, eh? He gets out next month. Years she had of it. Every bloody night he gets a few poxy mumps. There ought to be a law against it. You know, you did the right thing going to the police about your dad. And you did the right thing today. I know, don't worry. I had no choice. Either time. 
Still, it don't make it easy, though. I feel guilty, you know, about brassing on my dad. I mean, no matter what he did, he's still my dad. And he hates me. I mean, really hates me. Now our Karen's joined the club. You couldn't let it carry on. What she was doing, a little right. Does it run in the family, you think? Violence? I think there's a potential for violence in all of us. I mean, if someone was threatening my kids... I nearly smacked our Karen before I was this close. And it felt right. Justified after what she'd done to Ryan. But you didn't hit her? No, I didn't. This time. But that's what I'm scared of, you know. Losing it big style. I've come close often enough, but... That'd be the end of me, wouldn't it? Lose my job. Lose my self-respect. I'd be just like him. Cane in the bed and hitting women. Yeah. It won't happen. You won't let it. It was a very nasty beating. Sustained. David died at the scene. He was a good man. Loved his kids. And that paedophile is walking free. One weakness, one mistake, and David's life was ruined. He lost his wife, lost his kids, and now this. Kicked to death in a back alleyway. I know. It's not fair. Lots of times like this that I'm scared God is dead. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> Am I crying? And I shouldn't be crying. It's not what I do. You cry all you like. Stop looking after the rest of the world for five minutes and sob your heart out. Yeah? <laughs> it's all right. Shh. Look, I had a word with him. I told him I wanted out. Well, of course he didn't. But he's going to have to, isn't he? <laughs> Trust me, I'm a copper. I'll sort it out. Someone handed this in. Cheers. It'll be fine. I promise you, babes. No, I love you too. with something this big, they're going to wonder how I got it. But isn't this what the superintendent wants, taking out a major dealer? I mean, we've got to run with this. You're on.